Hello friends, after a while here we are with a new PowerPoint tutorial. Today's tutorial is about birds species presentation, which you liked a lot on my socials. So let's get started. This tutorial is divided into three steps. The first one, we're gonna see where to get the 3D models. And the second one is the design of the slides. And finally, the animation part. Before we start, I just wanted to inform you that I have released the PowerPoint Masterclass. The Masterclass will help you get noticed with your presentations, work less and impress your audience. We all know a beautiful presentation is a powerful tool for achieving your goals. On this PowerPoint Masterclass, I will cover everything you need to know about creating impactful presentations, whether you have a basic or medium PowerPoint level. This masterclass is for you. So, what are you waiting for to enroll? With that being said, let's go back to our tutorial. So, first of all, let's go to Sketchfab website where we can find a bunch of 3D models, as this Scarlet Teenager, I think. So, to download this 3D model, make sure to get it on a GLB format with 1K resolution. So, after getting our 3D models, let's set up our slide. So, first, I'm gonna insert this picture and make the edges curved as you can see and let's minimize the, the radius a little bit like that and crop it a little bit more like that then I'm gonna make the color of the background black so it's gonna suit the theme of this presentation now I'm gonna blur this picture by going to artistic effects in the format picture panel like that so now let's insert four rectangles it's gonna shape the design of our slide make sure that they are rounded corner rectangles let's hit control and shift and drag one more time and we have four rectangles so let's select the four rectangles and remove the outlines and paint them with the dark gray like that so let's group the four rectangles so we can resize them effectively like that and now make sure they are in the center and let's ungroup them so after setting the position of the rectangles let's make the gradient background for the 3d models so to do that i have selected four pictures with gradient style on each one with different colors where i'm selecting all the pictures and I'm gonna resize them as the rectangles. So let's start with the red one. So I'm going to position the picture with the first rectangle, then go to picture format, crop, and crop it as the same size as the rectangle. So like that nice now we have the perfect size let's make the corner round like that and make it identical to the rectangle let's repeat the same process with the other gradient pictures so perfect 
after setting all the pictures let's select them all and move them a little bit down so we can leave some space to write the title of each bird or the name of each bird now is the time to insert the 3d models so let's start with this one this is the red bird let's position it position it sorry on the on the red gradient picture and let's do the same with the other birds each one represent the color of the birds so i didn't choose them randomly when we are finished with setting up the 3d models let's insert the big title so which will be bird species so let's write bird species like that and choose the font general sense semi bold and turn the title into white color so we need more space I'm gonna crop the picture a little bit from the top and now we have a comfortable space for the title so let's duplicate the title and name each bird so remember the space we left for the bird's name oh, we're gonna use it now first let's number each bird from one to four nice now let's name the birds we're choosing a different font which will be the same font but not semi bold this time it will be the regular so i'm gonna copy the bird's name from the presentation that is already done which is the one that you saw on my socials and now the birds are all named so now we are finished with the design of the slides let's move to the animation part let's duplicate the slide like that then move the 3d models and their background out of frame like that like that now let's change their position let's rotate them so they will have that amazing animation when we use the morph effect you will see later nice now let's move the rectangles a little bit down like at the bottom of the titles now let's duplicate the second rectangle we're gonna showcase the first bird so let's move the background to the frame then position the bird as its first position so this slide will represent the first bird let's duplicate it one more time like that and showcase the second bird move them to the top change the position of that bird like that now let's move the third bird the blue jay now we're gonna do the same as the last two like that so let's change the position to the initial one nice now let's duplicate for the final one the final bird let's move them to the top sorry move it to the top nice so lastly let's change the position nice another nice yeah i say too much nice 
So for the first slides, let's delete it and let's duplicate the first slide. Then I'm gonna remove the background and 3D models. And let's get those rectangles and titles out of frame. So make sure that they are in a scale, like scale format. So the animation will be smoother, like sequence. Now delete the picture, then move the title out of frame like that. So what we're gonna put on this slide is the logo and the name. So I'm gonna copy them from the presentation that I already did. And now we reach the final step, which is the line of the morph transition. So let's select all the slide by control A and hit the morph transition. Then decrease the duration of the slides and voila. Thank you.